Question number five, Megan Gallagher. Thank you, Presiding Officer. To ask the First Minister whether the Scottish Government will engage with NHS Scotland on ending the prescription of puberty suppressing hormones to children following the recent announcement by NHS England. First Minister. Presiding Officer, we are uh, aware of the new clinical policy issued by NHS England last week on the routine prescription of puberty suppressing hormones for children and young people as a treatment option for gender dysphoria. The details of this are being closely considered by NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde uh, and its relevant clinical team, obviously, as the provider of young people's gender services at Sandyford. Any decision on how such health care is delivered in Scotland will rightly be made by health boards, but most importantly, uh, the clinicians involved. It should be noted NHS England's announcement follows our interim policy position last year, recommending puberty blockers are only accessed via a research programme it is establishing. The Scottish Government and NHS Scotland remain observers to this particular study and we are considering what further engagement may be appropriate. Megan Gallagher. I asked the First Minister about the prescription of puberty blockers to children in May last year. The First Minister said, and I quote, I support such decisions being made by clinicians, by the people who have clinical knowledge. We should trust those who have clinical expertise, as opposed to standing here in the chamber making judgments about what is best for young people who need gender identity services. But the truth of the matter is, we don't know if puberty blockers have long-term, life-changing consequences on young people who take them. That's why NHS England are conducting a review. Therefore, will the First Minister publish all evidence his government has that puberty blockers are safe for children? And if his government doesn't have any evidence, why is he allowing NHS health boards to prescribe them? First Minister. Senior Officer, uh, Megan Gallagher read out my response to her last time round. My position hasn't changed one iota, hasn't changed one bit. I still believe it is the point that clinical experts in Scotland should be the ones who determine whether or not puberty blockers are prescribed or not. I think that's a sensible position as opposed to politicians demanding uh, what clinical treatment should be. It should be for the clinical experts. In terms of the study that is taking place, I did reference in my response to Megan Gallagher's very first question that we are engaging with the study that's taking place. Uh, the Scottish Government and NHS Scotland are well engaged with NHS England on its planned study into the use of puberty blockers in young people's gender identity healthcare. We are uh, observers to that study and that remains a work in progress. Uh, we are considering what future engagement in that research may well be possible. So I just go back to the point that I've made already uh, to uh, Megan uh, Gallagher. Uh, of course, it is for clinicians uh, to make these judgments. I think it is right that we trust our clinical uh, clinicians and their expert uh, uh, decision uh, making. And in terms of the studies that are taking place in England, I'm more than happy to confirm that we are uh, observers. Uh, we are uh, keeping close to NHS England and we'll continue to do so as that study develops.